guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Marta and I'm so happy to have you here. I know I haven't filmed a video in English in a while. It has been a long time. But I'm finally here and I'm going to show you how I applied these eyeshadows. This is for like a night out with your friends or family, a party or something. Obviously it's pretty dark and dramatic, but I'm just gonna give you tips and tricks on how to get your eyeshadows to look like this and to stay on all night or all day. So I hope this video helps you and before we get started, I just want to thank all of you, the ones that have been here since the beginning, the ones that are new to my channel, the ones that have been showing love or just watching watching my videos, liking my videos. I, we are so close to 300,000 subscribers. I can't believe it. It's just crazy to me to even think about it, but just thank you, thank you so much for all of your love and your support. I really appreciate it. So, <laughs> if you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you won't miss any of my videos. I will, I promise, I will try to upload English videos more often. So let me know in the comments below what other videos you guys would like to see. And don't forget to give me a big thumbs up before you leave. And now if you want to see how I applied these eyeshadows, then just keep on watching. Okay, since I want this eye look to be very pigmented and stay on all day and all night, I do need a base or a primer, however you want to call it. And since I want this look to be dark, a dark blue shimmery eyeshadow, I want a black base. So for that, I'm going to use this Rimmel uh, Gel Eyeliner. It's the first time I use it for something like this, and it wasn't that hard to blend out, because normally black eyeshadows or black gel liners or anything that's black is hard to blend out. But this was pretty easy. It will take time, obviously, if you want it to look nice and blended, but it will blend out. It's pretty creamy, and it doesn't dry uh, fast, so that really helps a lot for you to get like that nice blended out black gel eyeliner. So I'm going to start by applying this on my eyelid with a flat brush. I'm using the e.l.f. Cosmetics concealer brush. Once I have it on my eyelid, I'm going to start blending it out on the edges with the same brush. I'm just going to use the tip of the brush and kind of go down very lightly on the edge of the eyeliner. And this is the part where it's going to take time because you don't want to start blending it out in like cir big circular motions. You want to do it little like slowly in steps. And trust me, it's way better if you use a flat brush and use a tip and do it this way then use a blending brush that a blending brush will not help you blend a gel eyeliner I guess as long as the edge isn't just a harsh line or isn't messy and uneven you're good to move on to the next step so I'm just gonna try to do it a little bit better on this side over here and I want the outer corner right here where it connects to the eyeshadow on the bottom to be round like this so I'm just gonna keep it right here and kind of round it out like this just keep it like that before it dries up completely, I'm going to grab my eyeshadow. I'm going to be using this LA Girl Fierce and Wild Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm going to grab this eyeshadow right here. And I'm actually going to apply it with my finger. You can see it's so pigmented and it feels very, very creamy. So I'm just going to tap it onto my eyelid. And with this gel eyeliner, it's, it helps it look dark and very pigmented. I'm just going to apply this right on top of the black uh, gel eyeliner that I have. I'm not going to go over it yet. Then I'm going to grab that same blue eyeshadow with this little brush. This brush comes in a Rimmel eyeshadow palette. And so right here you can see that the eyeshadow is just on the eyelid and over here it's past my crease which makes the eye look bigger. So if you want your eye to look bigger, you have to go past your crease. And for that, I'm gonna start blending out the eyeshadow right on the very edge of the blue eyeshadow with this small brush and just go in circular motions very lightly and very small and slowly just start to blending it a little bit higher. And again, for this, you want to do it with a small brush so you can do it in like little steps instead of using a big blending brush. And you can see that I have my, my eyelids. I kind of stretch my eyelids by lifting my eyebrow and kind of closing my eye. And that helps a lot to blend out the eyeshadow. So give that a try, maybe it'll help you too. Remember that when you're blending out eyeshadows, you don't want to have a lot of a product on your brush. Right here, I'm kind of getting some of the eyeshadow that I already have here and blending it out instead of grabbing more um, eyeshadow because that's just gonna bring the eyeshadow a lot higher really quick like I said I want to do this in, in small steps so I'm just using whatever product is on my brush to blend it out okay now that it's blended out you can see right here it kind of gives it a, a different kind of shimmer right on the center of the eye and for that I used from the same palette this one right here I'm just gonna grab a little bit on the tip of my finger and put it right on the center 
of my eyelid. And it's just to give it an extra little shimmer. Now for my lower lash line to be just as dark and pigmented, I'm going to apply this LA Girl Neon Shockwave Eyeliner in Black. First I'm going to apply it on my waterline and then under my eyelashes, like right on the root of my eyelashes. And then a little bit lower than the root of my eyelashes, just so I can have that black base and so the eyeshadow can look exactly the same as it does and on my eyelid okay so you can see right there i have the black on my waterline and then under the roots of my eyelashes and you can see in between that and i would always have trouble with this and i would hate it you can kind of see the space from the waterline and the eyeliner on the bottom and i want that to be gone like you can't see space right here so what i do i just go right on top of my eyelashes to get in between the little hairs i just have to go in there and just keep going back and forth like this to get it just as dark and then again I'm gonna grab the same blue eyeshadow and a small brush and just apply it first in tapping motions right on top of the eyeliner and then slowly start blending it out And then don't forget to connect the eyeshadows to the one on your eyelid up here. And then keep this round right here. And I'm going to apply these new eyelashes from Anastasia. These are in the style fashion. They are so gorgeous. And the band isn't, it's not thin, but it's not thick either. They are very flexible, so it's pretty easy to apply. They are synthetic, vegan, and cruelty-free. I want you guys to see the difference right here with the dramatic eyelashes with this eye look. You can see that this one is, the whole eye look looks darker and the blue doesn't really stand out. You can see the blue more on this eye over here. So if you want the blue to really stand out, don't put full and dramatic eyelashes. This look will also look cute with just your natural eyelashes and a little bit of mascara and the blue will really stand out and not look as dark and dramatic as this eye over here. And this is the final look. For my lips, I applied the new Anastasia liquid lipstick. This one's in the shade on mute and for the this look, I feel like only a nude lipstick like with a pinkish peachy undertone will look good with this look but I don't really like like a red purple look with these eyeshadows. I don't know, it's just me. I just feel like it'll look nicer if it's just a nude lipstick. But yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think of this whole look and leave me little blue heart emojis in the comments below. And don't forget to leave me a big thumbs up if you like this video and share it with your friends and your family. Let me know what other videos you guys would like to see. If you like more dramatic makeup looks or soft glams or just very simple, Makeup looks, let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to film that for you guys. Thank you so, so much for all of your love and your support. I love you so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.